Hi, in this problem, we're going to go ahead and determine a probability for a sample distribution with a proportion. So a food marketing institute found that 30% of households spend more than $125 a week on groceries. Assume the population proportion is 0.3 and a simple random sample of 205 households is selected from the population. What is the probability that the sample proportion of households spending more than $125 a week is less than 0.31? So here they give us a percentage as a population parameter. There's your red flag that this is going to be a proportion. So if we go ahead and go to our sample, sa our sampling distribution flowchart, and again, this is going to be in our course documents uh, folder in our MyOpen Math course. And this sampling distribution, um, if we look for a proportion, it's right below the mean, and we see that there are a couple of requirements. Now, if we run the problem correctly, we see that they tell us there's a proportion and population, but they don't tell us that the population comes from an approximately normal distribution. So we'll have to go ahead and verify these requirements. Um, and then part two would be identifying the sampling distribution. And then lastly, we can finally answer the question. So notice when they do not tell us we have an approximately normal population, there are some preliminary pieces to this. And the first one is going to be the requirements to ensure that um, we don't have sample bias and then that we have an approximately normal distribution. So now the first thing we want to do is verify requirements. So n is equal to, if we identify, they told us a sample of 205 households. And the question would be, is this less than 5% of all? And then we look for the population. We notice that the population, it doesn't even identify country, but just households. So if we think about households worldwide, this is definitely less than 5% of all households in the world. The second piece would tell us that we need um, the product of n times the population proportion times its complement has to be greater than or equal to 10. So we do know that n is equal to 205, but just again, the red, the red flag, we know the population proportion is 0.3. So we'll have 205 times 0.3 times 1 minus 0.3. And we can put that in the calculator. So 0.3 times 1 minus 0.3 times the sample size, which was 205. And we get 43.05. which is definitely greater than or equal to 10. So now that the uh, requirements are satisfied, now we can go ahead and talk about the sampling distribution. So if we go back to that flow chart, we see that the sampling distribution is going to be the population proportion and then the standard deviation. So since we have a sample proportion, the mean with respect to the sample proportion is equal to p, which in this case is 0.3. The standard deviation with respect to the sample proportion is going to be the square root of p times 1 minus p over the sample size, which is 205. OK, if and I just simplify this a little bit, I get 0.21 over 205. 
I don't want to round too soon because if I round too soon, then I might get a rounding error later on. So I'll just leave it like this. So I'll just star these pieces. Okay, great. And now we are ready to actually answer the question. <laughs> so now it says, um, what is the probability that a sample portion of households spending $125 more a week is less than 0.3? One. So what we're saying is, if I drew a little picture, here are all households. And what if I took a whole bunch of samples of 205 households? Um, and so here's kind of like a picture of all the households. So there's like a whole bunch and I'll draw a bunch of circles, right? And so then what if I randomly select one of these here, let's say I select this one, we're asking like what is the chance that this sample has a portion that's going to be less than 31%, right? Or less than 0.31. So what is the chance or the probability that this randomly selected sample from all these households and all these samples, so notice we're randomly selecting a sample, and what is the chance that if we randomly select one of these samples of 205, that that proportion would be less than 31% of households spending $125 a week in groceries? Okay, so that's really, that's all really what we're looking for. So the difference between prior chapters and this one is that we were looking for a randomly selected individual. In this case, we are looking for a randomly selected individual sample, right? Okay, so then let's go ahead and write this out. So the first thing I want to do is maybe say we need to find the probability that the population proportion from this sample would be or less than 0.31. So let me go ahead and draw a picture. So it looks like this. Here's P, which is 0.3. And 0.31 should be just on the right of it. OK, and we're looking for less. So we will definitely shade to the left. And we can see it past the 50% mark. So I expect this probability to be more than 50%, right? OK, so in order to do this, we can go back to the flow chart. And we say, OK, once we identified the sampling distribution, now let's identify our scenario. We have less than, so we're going to have this first scenario of one negative one e99 p hat so you could see it with the normal cdf so if i write it out so the probability of p less than 0.31 would be equal to the normal cdf of um negative one e99 point Three one, so left bound, upper bound, and then the mean. So the mean is 0.3, and the standard deviation will keep exact as point, square root of 0.21 over the sample size 205. So if we go to our calculator and put that in, we can use Desmos. Go to functions, normal distribution, and notice it tells us that it wants us to give it the mean and standard deviation. So the mean was that. 0.3, that 30%, comma, then um, the standard deviation, which is square root of 0.21 over 205. And I want to find the cumulative, right, CDF. So go ahead and select that box. And then the minimum is, we could actually leave at negative infinity since we're looking for the left tail. And then to give the right endpoint as 0 0.31, 0 0.6226. 
they want us to round to four decimals, which we did, so, um, and we can see that that's the answer right here.